Well, it's late at night, but I thought I would do a quick video on monkeypox or mpox. It seems to be something that's in the news lately. I didn't know much about it. I wanted to check it out and share it with you. So let's go into this. I put a slideshow together from the World Health Organization website on exactly what monkeypox is. So let's uh, let's do, I guess you could say it, a deep dive here. And it's funny, I was trying to come up with a thumbnail and I went into AI and typed in um, a person laying in a hospital bed with monkeypox. And there you go, people. That's what, it came, that's what it came up with. Thankfully, that's not what we'll look like if we end up getting this disease. All right, so an overview. Mpox or monkeypox is an infectious disease caused by the monkeypox virus. It can cause a painful rash, enlarged lymph nodes, and fever. And most people fully recover, but some can get very sick. Anybody can get Mpox or monkeypox, and it spreads simply from contact with the infected. You can get it by persons through touching, kissing, or sex, animals when hunting, skinning, or cooking them, materials such as contaminated sheets, clothing, or needles, pregnant persons who may pass the virus onto their unborn baby, and if you have Mpox or monkeypox, Tell anyone that you have been close to recently, stay at home until all the scabs fall off and a new layer of skin forms, cover lesions and wear a well-fitting mask when around other people and avoid physical contact. So unfortunately, I suppose it looks like this is something that's very easy to catch, kind of like chicken pox, right? If you had that when you were a kid, you can get this by touching somebody, uh, being around them, touching something that they've touched. So let's look at the, uh, the next piece here. This is, again, just an overview. The disease Mpox, formerly monkeypox, is caused by the monkeypox virus, commonly abbreviated as MPXV, an enveloped double-strand DNA virus of the orthopox virus genus in the pox viridae family, which includes variola, cowpox, vaccinia, and other viruses. The two generic clads of the virus are clads 1 and 2. The monkeypox virus was discovered in Denmark way back in 1958 in monkeys that were kept for research, and the first reported human case of the mpox was on a nine-month-old baby in the Dominican Republic of the Congo, the DRC, way back in 1970. Mpox can be spread from person to person or occasionally from animals to people, Following the eradication of smallpox in 1980 and the end of smallpox vaccination worldwide, Mpox steadily emerged in Central, East, and West Africa. A global outbreak occurred in 2022-2023. The natural reservoir of the virus is unknown. Various small mammals such as squirrels and monkeys are susceptible. I wonder when I read this because they say it can be passed on from animals to people. Um, what's one of the most popular animals or the two popular animals that we have uh, pretty much in the world, I guess, would be dogs and cats. And I wonder if they can get it and if you can catch it from them. That would be an interesting question. We'll see. Transmission is person-to-person -person transmission of Mpox can occur through direct contact with infectious skin or other lesions such as in the mouth or on genitals. This includes contact, which is face-to-face, -face, talking or breathing, that's never good. Skin-to-skin, -skin, touching or vaginal anal sex, mouth-to-mouth -mouth kissing, mouth-to-skin contact, oral sex, or kissing the skin, uh, respiratory droplets, or short-range aerosols from prolonged close contact. The virus then enters the body through broken skin, mucosal surfaces. Uh, examples are oral, pharyngeal, ocular, genital, anorectal, or via the respiratory tract. Mpox can spread to other members of the household and to sex partners. People with multiple sexual partners are at higher risk. And I would imagine all that's because the more people you're around, the more people you're touching, the more likely you are to get it. Because it sounds like if you touch somebody who's infected, if they breathe on you, if they spit on you, a little spittle as they're talking to you, these are all ways that you can catch it. It seems like it's a very contagious. Again, kind of like chicken pox. 
Signs and symptoms. Mpox causes signs and symptoms which usually begin within a week but can start 1 through 21 days after exposure. Symptoms typically last 2 to 4 weeks but may last longer in someone with a weakened immunity system. Common systems of Mpox or monkeypox are rash, fever, sore throat, headache, muscle aches, back pain, low energy, and swollen lymph nodes. Diagnosis. Identifying Mpox can be difficult as other infections and conditions can look similar. It is important to distinguish Mpox from chickenpox, measles, bacterial skin infections, scabies, herpes, syphilis, and other sexually transmitted infections, and medication-associated allergies. Someone with Mpox may also have another sexually transmittable infection, such as herpes. Alternately, a child with suspected Mpox may also have chickenpox. For these reasons, testing is key for people to get treatment as early as possible to prevent further spread. So basically what this is saying is it presents similar to many other things. So they have to be careful when they're testing you. Treatment and vaccination. The goal of treating Mpox is to take care of the rash, manage pain, and prevent complications. Early and supportive care is important to help manage symptoms and avoid further problems. Getting an Mpox vaccine can help prevent infection. This is good to know. I read that there is uh, two or three different vaccines that would help. The vaccine should be given within four days of contact with somebody who has Mpox or within up to 14 days if there are no symptoms. It is recommended for people at high risk to get vaccinated to prevent infection with Mpox, especially during an outbreak. This includes health workers at risk of exposure. There you go for hospitals and nurses or front desk people, people who are making appointments, um, men who have sex with men, people with multiple sexual partners, and sex workers. Again, people who are out there basically touching people for a living. Self-care and prevention. Most people with Mpox will recover within two to four weeks. Things to do to help the symptoms and prevent infecting others. Again, these are things to do. Stay home and in your own room if possible. Wash hands often with soap and water or hand sanitizer, especially before or after touching sores. Wear a mask and cover lesions when around other people until your rash heals. Keep skin dry and uncovered unless in a room with somebody else. Avoid touching items in shared spaces and disinfect shared spaces frequently. Use salt water rinses for sores in the mouth. Take SIDS baths or warm baths with baking soda or Epsom salts for body sores. Take over-the-counter medications for pain like acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Things to not do. Do not do these things. Pop blisters or scratch sores, which can slow healing, spread the rash to other parts of the body, and cause sores to become infected. Or shave areas with sores until scabs have healed, and you have new skin underneath. This can spread the rash to other parts of the body. To prevent spread of Mpox to others, persons with Mpox should isolate themselves or in hospital if needed for the duration of the infectious period from the onset of symptoms until lesions have healed and scabs have fallen off. Covering the lesions and wearing a medical mask when in the presence of others may help prevent spread, and using condoms during sex will help reduce the risk of getting monkeypox, but will not prevent spread from skin-to-skin -skin or mouth-to-mouth -mouth contact. So what have we learned in a brief overview? It's easily spread by touching other people or touching things that they've touched, or by letting them talk to you, where you could get kind of spittle on you, aerosol uh, from close conversations or close quarters, kind of like chicken pox, really, in a sense, although it looks like it's, from pictures I've seen, uh, the sores are much bigger, and it looks like it's a little more serious, which means it would probably be more painful. It lasts for a few weeks. Um, I would imagine you'll be by yourself and probably very uncomfortable for those weeks. Now, this article on the World Health Organization said to use SID or warm baths uh, for this. I read somewhere else, though, that they're saying not to do that, to use 
cool baths that the hot water would make it more painful. Now, I know from having things like poison ivy or poison oak in the past that water as hot as I can stand actually helped with the pain. Um, so I don't know. I guess if, if I ever get it, I'll, I'll let you guys know. So again, it'll last for a couple weeks uh, before it's gone. And the good news is there are vaccinations for this that are supposed to be able to stop at 100%. Now, is that true? Who knows? I've never had a vaccine in my life, whether it was shingles or the flu or any of these other ones that stopped anything 100%. Certainly the COVID vaccine didn't stop it. But this one, at least what I read on the site, said that it would stop it if you got it, I guess, in the right time frame. So there you go. It looks like it's not the end of the world. It's maybe a slightly uh, more severe version kind of of chickenpox. Nothing to be super, super concerned about, but I guess we're all going to have to be safe and we're going to see how the spread goes. But remember, as you're listening to the news, keep an eye out. Think critically, as my site says, and really figure it out. Do you know anybody that has it? Have you read about any cases in your area? Is it as prevalent as they said? Um, and, and just don't let the media blow it out into proportions that it really isn't. Just think critically and be safe out there. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you like this video, to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.